going to be a video blog. I'm not going to actually show you the process of what I'm doing. I'm going to show you updates. And this is a piece of work that I'm doing. It's a series of four. And it's about the impact we have of throwing our waste into the ocean. And I have done <clears throat> a collage at the top which actually shows you the waste. I mean, how cheap is this? I mean, like three pounds for something and the packaging, you know. And, and there are these massive islands that are actually on top of the ocean and eventually it will impact on the marine life that is there. Now, <coughs> oh excuse me folks, I have drawn this humpback whale out because they are a series of humpback whales. The colour of the paper is important because it shows the darker the paper the less oxygen there is They can that's in the water. Which doesn't actually affect them because they are mammals. Sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, they are mammals, but it does have an impact on the other marine life. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, because I'm only doing partial bits of the whales, because the concept is how much of the humpback whale would we remember in these generations um, if he was actually to become extinct. And so I am now rubbing out the lines that I've done to create him. And so it will just be this little bits of him floating in the water, which actually would be our memory of him. So I will keep you updated. See you in a bit. OK, now I've stuck again the debris from the sea onto this one. And this is, if I can... I just stand up on the chair. You might be able to see it a bit better. Sorry if I'm making you a bit wobbly. Right, this is the whale drawn out. And I will pick out parts of him to draw and then leave out. So I'll show you when I've finished. Bye. Okay, this is picture number two. And again, this is the bits that I'm going to show. I'm just showing you the drawings and I'm going to be rubbing out all of these. The reason why I am just doing little bits of the whales is because when doing a survey on making this, I wanted to know what people would remember about the humpback whale and these are some of the things that they would remember. Nobody totally could remember more than four things that were actually about a humpback whale rather than a statistic. So again, this is what would be left. I'll tell you a little bit more about the concept. Um, when I get nearer the end of the project. Hi folks, this is the last picture in the cryptic. I'm just showing you a little bit of him in process. He's the last one. And as I've said before, um, the colour of the paper is to show how much oxygen is actually in the water. And I learned an interesting fact, Jesse, when discussing my work with somebody else, and they were saying that the amount of plastic in the ocean, if it continues at the rate it's doing, I don't know if it's in the next 40 years or 50 years, something like that, the weight of plastic in the water at the moment is, will be heavier than the amount of fish stock that is in 
the water itself. I mean, that's pretty scary, isn't it? That is really something to think about. Now, this is one with the gold leaf. This one is finished now. He's had a double layer of um, varnish on him. So, that, I don't know if you can see this, but <laughs> it's a bit difficult for me to show, but bear with me. Um, they do kind of shine. Can you see that? And that's to represent the water that they are in. I'm just going to, excuse me if I'm making you feel a bit sick. I'm just going to pin him up there. might make it a bit easier. There we go. Now, again, as I've said before, the colour of the paper represents the oxygen in the sea. Um... And the gold line, that the gold leaf that I've put through, represents the value or the undervalue of the two most precious things that we need to survive, which is oxygen, okay, and water. And although he is one of our relatives, he's a mammal, they live the same as we do, they give birth the same as we do, they name their families, you know, they have all the same attributes that we do. They are our, one of our nearest cousins in form of verbal language. And um, so somebody said, why didn't I paint the sea? Because it would be good to see the sea. No. In my opinion, as this is my investigation, by painting the scene, that takes away the importance of what I'm trying to say. I'm not, it's not a picture, a representational picture of what it is, of, of a whale and the sea. It's much more scaled down to this with the paper representing oxygen the collage and if I just go closely in if I find one there three pounds can you see that this isn't to say that the people that are creating the packaging are the problem no 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 they are not creating the problem we are creating the problem and I was talking to one of the creators of the exhibition and I said <clears throat> If I come round to your house <clears throat> with a skip load of rubbish and I just just threw it of your garden without taking any consideration of you, how would you feel? And they said, well, I'm pretty angry, actually. I'd expect you to clean it up, you know. There'd be a, a bit of a conflict going on. Yeah, that's right. But they don't speak our language and we, we are desperately in small numbers trying to understand this majestic beast. There's not enough numbers of us caring about their environment. They live in a different environment. If they were aliens from another planet, we'd probably take more interest, but they're not. They live on our planet, but they live in an entirely different universe to ourselves. And we see them as the underdog, which we have no evidence in their universe that they are the underdog. And so we just plonk our stuff on top. And we, we must be mindful. We must be mindful. Before you take an action, think about the consequences. Just a quick think. Think about the consequences. Think about the impact that you're having on something else's life. And this is what this is saying. These make the most beautiful sounds that travel so, so far. And yet we don't even acknowledge this. Most people, when I ask them in my investigation, what do you remember about a humpback whale? They couldn't think of four things. They struggled. That is, that is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. So this is... The next one. I'm just going to show you the other one because he's got the gold leaf on too. So if I come back a little bit away, there you can see him. Oh, 
Okay, okay folks, so this is the other one, and I've put the gold leaf along the top of this one again. I mean, what price would you actually put on air and water? In some countries, water is more expensive than oil. It's more expensive than gold. We see this every time we turn our toes on and we see that people like Ethiopia are in a drought and they're dying. But we waste water. You know, a simple thing that is available. It falls from the sky free. It runs in rivers free. And, and it will be a Mad Max thing. I mean, if anyone's seen the new Mad Max where they um, are looking for the island with water or water world where there's no land. You know, our earth is a leviathan that gives us so much resources. She gives it away freely. And we are the only mammal, creature, living entity that keep it. I have never seen in my whole year to my whole year of living, or years of living, two monkeys squabbling over who's got the water. If that doesn't say something to you, then, you know, that doesn't make you think. And so these pictures are going to be about when these poor creatures go because of our stupidity. There's no other word for it but stupidity. You know, what, you know, I can't even begin to tell you how sad that makes me. And somebody told me the other day that these beautiful creatures, the humpback whale especially, is now being washed up on the shores and they are dying because their stomachs are full of plastic. That's a fact. The killer whales are now becoming sterile because of flame retardant materials in the soft furnishings we have. And when you see advertising, I mean, I don't have a telly, so when I go to someone's house and I see advertising, it has a profound effect on me. And when I see at Christmas that you can throw out the settee that you had last year for this year's settee, how many orcas have we lost through vanity? Because it, it's not saving, it's not saving our lives. You know, it's not something we need. I mean, back in the 50s, people had three-piece suites, couches that lasted years and years and years. And I have a couch in my house, and it, it's got to be really old. And it can be recovered. And it'll be worth more because it's really old. And if it was recovered then something that I could buy, I could trade it in at Christmas and get something else that I probably wouldn't be happy with after a year. All the curtains, when I change, the clothes we wear are fire retardant, fantastic, it saves so many lives. But at the end of the day, the price is, we are not paying the price. We are being, we're being saved because we're not catching on fire something else it's a butterfly effect you sitting on that settee knowing that you are not going to spontaneously combust is at the cost of another essential being i think that's the word i'm not, I'm not too sure you know this other being with language cannot reproduce and we know as people that if people can't have children, they become distressed, it affects them in you know, all manners of ways. How do we know that when these whales come together, we don't know if they mate for life, we don't know, but we do know a single mother will look after her child till her death, the same as we do. How do you know that they don't understand why they can't have children? The, some of the whales do and they don't. It's a lot to think about. And I hope that maybe my little whale 
might make you think next time you throw your crisp bracket down. And find out where your stuff's being recycled, you know? Because imagine if you couldn't breathe. It's your right as a as a being, as a person, as part of this planet. I'm breathing now because I'm conscious of it. Imagine if I couldn't, imagine the panic if suddenly the oxygen in this room disappeared. Imagine if you couldn't open a window to let some fresh air in. This is what we are doing with these huge islands of plastic. We are throwing mercury in the water. So tuna fish are really affected. So we are becoming affected. Flame retardant is being washed into the water through carpets and soft furnishings so that the orca, as far as we know, cannot survive. We don't know anything about these creatures, but we do know they have language, they have family, they have history, like elephants. Let's make a stand for our fellow beings, their mammals that are like us. They just chose to not walk amongst us to inhabit another universe. Here we go folks and this is the last little whale in the series. This is the whale that at the moment is hope because we are still in a position where we can actually save whales. We can actually disperse these um, islands. You know, we can really start to really consciously think about what we will do with the waste. So at the moment, he is the whale that has the hope. Now, I've not finished him completely because I've got to put the gold leaf in there. And there's going to be quite a bit of gold leaf on here because at the end of the day, there is hope. I've really enjoyed doing this series. I've really enjoyed talking to people about the series, making them aware of the situation, talking to the gallery about the situation, the traces of the whale and what we can do with the whales. If you would be interested in having a print of all three of them, please look down in the comments below and I will um, be happy to discuss sizes and stuff if you'd be interested. So I will update you again with these, showing you the last of him that I finished. Okay, but for now, on this little chap, see you in a bit. And this is the last whale to be finished. This is the Hope Whale. As you can see by the plastic, being broken up by the gold leaf, there is hope. The problem is manageable, we can sort it out. So this little chap is just about to be packed off with his other mates to AVP Filming and Studio Services. Big shout out to Harry there. Thank you so much for doing this. It means a lot. He's going to photograph them and then well, I'll let you know what happens after that. Okay. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And from me and the whale, we would love you if you would like, subscribe, comment, thumbs up and make a difference. Bye bye folks. Bye-bye.